We will be doing the electrolysis of water in this lab. You need a U-tube, rubber band. DI, DI water, yeah, or distilled, I guess. Two wires, a battery with a cap on it, get the wires coming off, and two pieces of graphite to use electrodes. It's always good to have safety first, so don't forget your goggles to put them on. We're not using real chemicals here, but if we were, we'd use goggles. Yes. So you set up your lab like this. You go around your styrofoam cup or beaker. In this case, we have a styrofoam cup. Either would work. And you put the U-tube in, and then you pin it like that. So your chemicals would be inside your U-tube, and you have your battery on each side. So on these electrodes, you would attach pencil lead and put them in each side. And then you fill this with water too. They fill you with water too. Yes. That's how you would see the reaction occur. So, yeah, your battery would be on, and then you would start to see the reaction. Don't forget universal indicator. That's important. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see the reaction. And you would connect the um, other sides of the wire to the, the battery. wires of the battery, and make yeah. sure not to clamp it to the plastic. You want to clamp it to the metal. Yes. Clamp it to the plastic. It will not work. Yes. So you'll observe the reaction. You'll see a color change in the water right there in your YouTube. One side will be one color, side will be the other color. Yep. Based on which side is the cathode, which side is the anode, depends on which side you connect the battery. Yes. That is the electrolysis water. And you should also notice some gas bubbles forming yes. on one side too.